We'll start with you. I'm hot for you, Wally. Is that your real name? It's Egyptian. Okay. So what do you want to get from this class? I'm hot for you, Wally. I already got it. Thanks. Government strongly insists that women need to be protected from men's sexual attention in the workplace. We're talking about sexual harassment law, Ali. Let's not expect it to make sense. We just have to assume that if any woman anywhere at any time feels the slightest twinge of hypersensitivity and she can tie it to anything remotely sexual, she has a cause of action. The courts will protect her, which is good because as a matter of law, women need protection. They are less than. That's the law. It's a biological fact that both men and women are very sexual creatures. But in being sexual, they display their sexuality in different ways. It's like in all the, all the gender laws, they always, all seem to be designed to recognize the failings and bad behaviors of men and to completely uh, hide under the carpet the responsibility of women in bringing about those behaviors. These poor guys, they can't win on the road. They can't win when they go back to cleavage, Cleveland. <laughs> Tell me how you think a man can sexually harass a woman. What, what can a man do that will be regarded as sexual harassment? Well, I mean... Just, if you just keep repeating, get your tits out, get your tits out, get your tits out. That's sexual abuse, isn't it? And then the other one is, you know, if they're by the photocopier and there's a big aisle where the guy can walk down, but he brushes past the, the female in an unnecessary way, then that's sexual abuse, isn't it, as well? Have you ever been accused of sexual harassment or threatened with an accusation? Um... <laughs> Only jokingly, no, no, never seriously. Um, I probably could easily be, because I am very jokey at work like that. There's probably a great deal of stuff I've said and done with the women at work. I know I can say it because of the relationship that I have with, with the girls at work. Um, but it would be very easy, very easy, to accuse me of sexual harassment. And how do you think a woman can sexually harass a man? Same ways. Get your willy out, or, you know just constantly sort of nag at them. I want sex, I want sex. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's going, woman, I'm trying to do some work. But please, I want some sex. No, I've told you. <laughs> Sorry. It's the difficulty, I guess, with making something so clinical and so PC that you can't say anything. And you could go down that, lo that road and you could just have no human interaction whatsoever with the people around you for fear of being sued. But we're not there yet and I'm basically going to go by a suitable relationship with the people that I have at work and trust in human nature. So you make a judgement call about I make you're a, dealing with. I do, I make a judgement call, maybe I shouldn't, I make a judgement call and I rely on human nature and, and, and my knowledge of that person and I don't do it, I, you know, I don't say risque things to people I don't know very well. Although not generally appreciated, men are the subjects of unwanted sexual attention, just as much as women. Can I have your attention everyone? I'd like to introduce you to a new employee who will be joining us today, his name is Jonathan Stewart. Hi Johnny baby. Oh, by the way, that's Charlotte, come on. I'll introduce you to your new machine. I guess I'll see you at the company picnic. <gasps> he definitely has a cute little butt. Oh, it's almost like it's been sculpted. Thank you very much. We need strong department heads to oversee this merger. It's an art gallery, full of dark corners, full, doing dark deeds. <laughs> right. Okay. Mm-hmm. His butt? Mm-hmm. Right? Yes, they were. Anybody see what made them? Uh, actually, no such uh, luck. Sexual harassment legislation, however, exclusively recognizes male sexual misbehavior and ignores female. In the eyes of the law, it's as if women have no sexuality, and only a man can ever sexually harass. For example, in America, female news reporters demanded the right to do locker room interviews with sportsmen, claiming that it was sexism to not allow it. But male newsmen are not allowed into the locker room of females. Hey! Do 
ladies work here? Yes, they do. Uh, do they have a nicer physique? Do you have lawsuits? Are you familiar with the term lawsuit? I think you all know why you're here. Play them. Check it. Great stuff. We need her to sign the waiver on sexual harassment. Richard, I don't think those clauses are enforceable. Uh -huh. But women do sexually harass men in the workplace. And this means all women, all of the time. It's me, Johnny. I knew it was you. I could smell you getting off the elevator. Women wear perfume. I mean, with all due respect, you sort of walk around with uppity breasts and the hair flips aren't the most subtle and your perfume, you could be flammable. Men will melt. Provocative woman. A new fragrance. Perfume is not deodorant. It's worn for one reason and one reason alone. To attract the sexual attention of men. It has no place in the workplace. That is sexual harassment. Women dress inappropriately. The men at the courthouse, some of the judges even, they talk about your short skirts. They do, don't they? What the heck are you doing in here, Sasha? What do you mean? What do I mean? You're walking around all sexy. That's why I mean what I mean. Gary, since we're in the workplace, I would appreciate you not referring to me as sexy, okay? You need to sign here and I think... Here. Okay. Works in the media. <laughs> About anything in particular. She'll do anything. But you do dress to turn the guys on a little. I don't deny that. I like to feel attractive. So you're open? Yeah, what do you need? Adam's gonna break off part of an ID. We need a name. Soon evaporated. It's all about the team. Tyler, you've joined us late in the term, so unfortunately you're playing catch-up. So I was wondering if you'd like to stay behind after school and you and I could get together on kind of one-to-one -one basis? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that sounds good, yeah. We'll have a long session. <laughs> Any other supportive advice before we get to know each other? As a matter of fact, there is. If you want a career here in PID, you might want to invest in some more appropriate clothing. It's power. Sex for me is power. That is sexual harassment. Women wear makeup. For extreme hold, zero trace. What function does lipstick serve in the workplace? How seriously are we supposed to take a businesswoman wearing makeup? How can we assume clear thinking, intelligence and good judgement from a person who needs to paint their face for work? Why would a grown person walk around in something like this? These are hugely uncomfortable. They make it easier to fall, plus they cause back problems. What kind of a person would spend the equivalent of two years painting her face, pluck out her eyebrow hairs, implant silicone or saline into her chest? There is a name for this kind of person. Woman. If we insisted that women not wear makeup or perfume to work, on what basis would women disagree? Are women so ugly and so smelly that they can't step out of the house without it? That's like pouring perfume on a pig. As with perfume, makeup is entirely inappropriate because it's a device to enhance attractiveness. That is sexual harassment. However, no case has ever been brought against a female colleague for wearing a short skirt, makeup or a wonder bra at work. There are no concrete examples of sexual harassment specified in the law. It comes down to how a woman feels. This gives a woman the arbitrary option of whether to feel harassed and complain, or else feel flattered by a man's attention. Eat me. OK, that's it. You're not allowed to harass women like that. Eat me. We'll see about that. Listen, that sandwich out front is saying sexually explicit things to women as they walk by. What he's saying? Eat me. Yeah, he's a sandwich. No, he didn't say it in the sandwich way. He said it in the sexual harassing way. Eat me. Oh, you're so brave inside your sandwich! And then Miranda glimpsed just enough of his full lips and shiny white teeth to stop thinking about the sandwich and start wondering about the man inside the bun. Women also lie about sexual harassment if they think it will benefit them, or to seek revenge, or because they have a personality disorder. And there are a lot of women with personality disorders. I gotta get out there, I gotta conquer the whole self-esteem thing. Just boom, okay? We just drive through this baby, okay? I have an eating disorder, you know. No. I get sure. Threw up on the way over. I have to assume that's it. I'll tell Jack. Great work, Sherry. Congratulations. Thanks. Did you see the way his hand brushed across my shoulder as he walked by? What? That was wrong. He shouldn't have done that. Mrs. Logan, you wouldn't... You know, in three seconds, Mr. Burke, I'm going to scream louder than any woman you've ever heard in your life. One, 
to. Here's the card right here. Um, I wouldn't actually want to take the risk now of letting a woman into my car and then suddenly being accused of doing something that I hadn't done. So I don't. Why do you think there's a risk there? I mean, is it something that you've come across? I mean, why would you think that anyone would accuse you of... Well, because women do that, don't they? Women always have the option of accusing men of sexual harassment, or worse, because you'll never be able to disprove it. That's why many men in the city, for example, will not travel alone with a woman in a lift. And why other men are extremely wary of being alone with women. It's not worth the risk.